So I was watching this Close to the Truth video on why is there something rather than nothing. And I don't really get why this has been a perennial question in philosophy or anything like that. Because it's so, I don't know, to me it's kind of dumb. Like, mostly because, okay, suppose I had this thought experiment. Suppose you were in, like you were just in awareness with some detectors encapsulated in space. Like, and... You know, all directions, there's no, there's nothing to see, there's nothing to sense, but you're still a detector, you're aware, and you can be aware of yourself. That still would not be nothing. Now, suppose that you lost that detector, and you were just an awareness, and you were just aware, that still would not be nothing. Now, suppose that somehow you were put into, I guess, deep sleep, or you were perpetually zoning out, that still would not be nothing. You basically have to not exist to consider nothing. So... That's one of the reasons why this question is so weird, because we can only access existence with existence. We can only think about what exists with what exists. We can't think about what does not exist. Trying to think about that is like trying to consider everything you're not considering at every moment of consideration, which is basically everything. So in a weird way, thinking about nothing makes you think about everything. So why is there something rather than nothing? You just end up just keep thinking about something. You're always thinking about something. You're not thinking about nothing. And you'll always be trying to find an equivalence or a relationship, or some sort of measurement, or some sort of quality, whatever feature of existence that you can use for this nothing. And that's the reason why I think the question is kind of pointless, because you don't actually think about nothing. Nothing is unintelligible. You're not actually thinking about it. You can't actually think about it. Unless, well, well, I think I've said enough. That's all I have to say today. Thanks for listening.